Well, good morning everyone. This is Monday, May the 27th, and it is Memorial Day. It's a holiday for a lot of us here in the States. So I hope you're having a good Memorial Day if you're here with me in the States. And it's a beautiful day here in the Houston area, so maybe you're down at the lake or at the beaches or some place where you can get some sun and relaxation and have some joy. Just enjoy this holiday day if you can. Hi, sweet Barb. I love you. You're going to really like this card. Uh, when it, when it, it showed up, I thought, oh, this is so up Barb's alley. And everyone's actually, but Barb, right on. So I'm going to let everyone know, of course, in case you haven't been following, we're working with the dreams of Gaia, Tara. And um, today's card is about abundance. Abundance. Can you imagine that? I'm glad you didn't shut down yet. You're going to like this. So abundance can mean a lot, a lot, a lot of things. But now that if you've been following and you've been coming along with what we've done daily, and yesterday we worked on the body and the mind and about your how things affect your body and how things affect your mind and how your words are powerful. So I'm going to take a little time and we're going to dig into this abundance uh, reading from her little guidebook that's just so spectacular. So let me get my glasses on and cut my hair up for it's just going to be a fun day today so and you see there's a dragon here for those of us who love our dragons and work with our dragons and are getting more and more familiar with other things in this universe besides just us being in a human form Spirit comes in all shapes and sizes. So I love that dragon looking over everything so that we're safe. So the key phrase is abundance is a state of plenty. Abundance is a feeling. Abundance surrounds you. Have faith and conviction. Complete trust is required. Your rainy day is today. Determine your goals and reasons and set intentions. Relax and enjoy yourself. Generosity ripples outward. The more you give, the more you receive. Appreciate and be grateful. Abundance is a state of contentment, not influenced by external factors. So, yes, there's more. Just wait, Barb. So, they're asking here, what is abundance? Abundance is defined as a state of plenty. When abundance shows up, it signifies a feeling of abundance of appreciation that opens you to the abundance that surrounds you. Hi, Cynthia, lovely lady. A person with an abundance consciousness is one who is always hopeful, seeks a fair and equal exchange of energy, and sees potential and opportunity in all experiences. To create and open ourselves to abundance and embrace an abundance consciousness, um, <laughs> is our seventh reason for being. I guess if we go through this book, we'll know what the other six reasons are. One of the more challenging purposes, because it requires absolute faith and conviction. It requires complete trust. Abundance is a state of contentment and fulfillment that is not influenced by external factors, regardless of whether the experience, let's turn the page, because this is good stuff, was good or bad. One with an abundance consciousness sees the whole experience and learns from the whole experiences. Abundance embodies a way of living that does not change regardless of whether you have more or less in your life. Abundance cannot be earned, given, bestowed, or taken away. It is contentment born of fulfillment and appreciation. 
So we're going to go here with what it talks about for abundance in the present. This symbolizes the need to embrace an abundance consciousness. Try to let go and relax. Just allow things to flow. Focus on enjoying what you are doing and being in the moment rather than grasping, speculating, or expecting. Ask yourself, what is it you want? Why do you want it? Is there a possibility that you want or desire something just because another person has it? Because it will increase your social status? Or that it will make others like or respect you more? If this is your desire and it makes you happy, then that is your choice. But take this opportunity to try doing everything for love and you might discover that you fulfill those desires and more. Hi Ron, how are you honey? Good to see you. When you embrace an abundance consciousness, you will find that you have love in plentiful supply. Focus on doing the things that you love and doing things for love just because you love. It's all about love and gratitude. <laughs> I like that. Even if a sacrifice is required for you to get what you want, if you do it for love, you will not see it as a sacrifice. Of course, everything we desire has a price. The physical price might be money, our time, our action in the form of constant effort and commitment. But if the energetic currency is always love, the result will be abundance. So love the experience, love the journey. What do you think about that? Goes hand in hand, doesn't it? Yay! Um, so the abundance card suggests that we put love first by making time for what we love, taking joy in our love, sharing our love, and giving what we wish to receive. If you want love, be loving and do the things that you love to do. Love your life. It will always come back to you. When you love, you get love back. When you give something your undivided attention and interest and do so only because you enjoy it, then you will get all that love you have invested in return. You can apply this to business by being generous in spirit, in nature, to your customers and clients, and supportive of other small businesses. Give everybody a reason to want to come back, and they will. Give them a reason to respect and support you, and they will. Also, try not to be competitive. Hmm. How about that? Just because another person has a similar business in the same street or a patch of cyberspace does not mean that they are going to steal your sales or customers. Instead of worrying about rivals, focus on offering the best service or quality product you can provide. That makes sense because you are only you. And the right energy when you're in the abundance, love, grateful, joy, and happiness, consciousness, then the right people will be drawn to you. It doesn't matter if your very next door business, like it says here in the book, is doing the exact same thing you do. They are presenting it to people in a different way. They're presenting it to people in their unique way. And the right people will show up for them. And it could be the same people showing up for both places. So just be open to that. They're, I don't believe in competition. I never have. It, it doesn't work. There's no reason for it. Hi, Joy, honey. Are you in town? Uh, also be abundant with your body as well. Rather than indulging in unhealthy habits, nurture your body and give it everything that it needs. Feed your body an abundance of healthy, natural foods. Diets, give them up. Move, eat well, savor what you eat. Make it a sensory experience and enjoy it. And nurture your mind as well by avoiding the media, which too often feeds us images of hopelessness or lack that create a grasping mentality of what that has you working harder and harder for less. Mm -mm. 
mentality of want that has you working harder and harder for less. That's interesting, isn't it? I like to watch things on TV that are lighthearted and fun. It's, hard. it's just too depressing otherwise. So most important, let go of worry and have faith. That bill will get paid. The money you need for school or business will manifest. But you also have to be willing to make things happen instead of waiting for it to happen. And by making things happen is you allow your energy to move into the consciousness of abundance. So I hope this made great sense to y'all. It sure did to me. I'm so happy this is Memorial Day. This is a beautiful, beautiful time of gratefulness, sharing love, being there for you and your family and those that need you in the most beautiful way. And again, there's our dragon looking over us, helping us move along the way. So give me your comments below. Let me know how you liked abundance today. I know we took a little longer, but I was prepared for it and I hope you were too. Love you. Bye everyone.